morning, everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day, having a great weekend. Just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. All the people that are subscribing, all the nice comments. I like interacting with you guys and seeing how your guys' animals are doing as well. Uh, so I am cleaning in here right now, so it's not the greatest looking. It's every day I'm cleaning, so it's not ever going to be completely spotless. And if you guys own more than like five or ten snakes, I think you guys can understand how that is. So... I'm going to be feeding some of the snakes. I know a lot of you guys do enjoy the feeding videos. I think that's where I get most of the views. So uh, if that keeps up, then I'm still going to do the, the feeding videos. And obviously, I'm still going to do the interaction videos. And then tell you guys about uh, how the animals are doing, how the snakes are growing, and stuff like that. So we're going to feed both the anacondas. We're going to feed the Burmese. And we're going to feed uh, the motley boa, the ghost boa, and the albino boa. So... The next video I should be feeding the, uh, the Argentine, the common boa, and then some of the smaller baby boas over there. And then I gotta feed all 20 some of the ball pythons, which is a chore because I'm trying to get them all on pre-killed and frozen thawed. Which honestly, it's really not that difficult as I thought it was gonna be. They're doing extremely well. And we can see that this girl is ready to eat. So. I made the mistake of bringing the rats in here and thawing them in the room since it's like 85 degrees in here other than the house where it's like 65. So the smell of rats is in here and all the senses of all the snakes are going crazy right now. And I didn't realize that her snake was pretty, it's not bad looking, it's wet, there's some pee in there. Should have cleaned hers before. Uh, I fed her but I don't want to take her out because I don't want to mess with her too much uh, when she's in this mood uh, for food but she's looking really really good we saw her featured on the last video if you missed that check it out and you can see all about uh, peaches the pearl burmese so i got some nice sized rats out here and i really think i'm gonna give her this one because those are going to go to the boas and the, and the bigger anaconda right there so I think she actually could eat that one, but then one of my bows would have a smaller meal. Let's try that though. Eh. Do you think this one would work? I mean, I could give this one to the Molly. Well, I'd have to feed the Molly again next week. Let's just try it. Let's just give her a medium and uh, see what happens. So I apologize, these are a little bloody. Some people don't like to see that. Um. So we'll look in here and yeah, that's the same size as she is. So if she even wants it, which is interesting if she, <laughs> if she wouldn't want it. Do you not want this? I mean, normally they're not this big, but I don't know what's going on. Well, that really didn't, there we go. <laughs> that really didn't work out as I uh, thought it was gonna work out, but there she goes. All right, so I do have a smaller rat right here, which I guess I could just give to the Molly right here. And I, I clean in her cage and I'm give her uh, fresh water. So she definitely does need a larger meal, but we're switching some stuff up on the fly. So there we go. I'll just feed her another one next week, no problem. And then we'll check out Mountain Dew right here. See how she is doing. And this girl is gonna get a nice sized Rat, so that is definitely the width of her body. And there we go, perfect. So it's been really, really nice since she has been on rats. I know some people can be get very lucky and get their anacondas on rats very early in life. Uh, she took almost a year, which is not uncommon. She loves her uh, frozen. Um, her frozen quail, I should say that, and this girl's uh, kind of, I don't know what she's doing. She needs to go, 
She needs to go back in here so I can close this and hopefully she doesn't strike at the glass because I don't want her to hurt her face. So we got two, so we're not going to feed the albino. I don't know why I was thinking I had more than <laughs> what I had. So Pop-Tart is down here. I had to change her water out last night and then I just didn't fill it up quite yet. So I had to have to fill that up so she can sit in there, soak, and I'm going to feed the ghost because she does definitely need to eat. And then hopefully this meal right here can trigger Pop-Tart to come out. So as you can see, none of these videos are really edited. They're just kind of like live action and just going with the flow on stuff. That was a nice feeding response on her. So beautiful snake. I love the ghosts. I love what they can make uh, with potential of adding extra genes. They are the key, one of the key genes or the base genes that have snows and moon glows and Pop-Tart is on her way out. So I wonder if we can actually get her out. I don't mind feeding her out of the cage because she is very, very easy on getting her back in the cage after she eats. It's kind of like, just, you know, she's very active, I should say. And she is definitely getting some size on her, so. So she is on larges. I think this week I'm going to go and get, um, she's very strong too. I think I'm going to go get an extra large because that size is kind of, you know, not doing it for her anywhere large. So she just turned three. Which is exciting. Um, I don't think I can get rabbits just yet for her. I do know like baby rabbits are the same size. I'm not sure if they have the same nutrition. Uh, but I'm really just going to kind of hold off on the rabbits until she's actually like, gets out of the, the extra large or the jumbo rats I think. And I know feeding jumbos I've heard are kind of fatty. So maybe I will just feed her like one or two jumbos and then go into the rabbits. So that is in the future. I'm sure she'll be on rabbits by the end of this year. So guys, I appreciate the support on the channel. Let's just watch some of these snakes eat and hopefully you guys have an awesome day. All right, so we're waiting for some of these to finish up eating. So I want to go ahead and show you guys this guy right here. IMG Motley and he is shed, has shed out and it's really weird because he will go very, very, very dark. And then we go back to light, and then we go back to super dark, and go back to light. So I don't know if that's the transitioning phase that they're doing, but I'm hoping he gets darker um, <laughs> quickly. And then the Suriname's doing very well. She needs to eat, and I know she is hungry, and then she knows that there is food in here. So we'll just poop her on the nose really fast. So I don't know what's going on with the berm. I don't know if she wants to eat in the dark, uh, but she is, just does not seem very interested in the rat, but there is a lot going on. Normally when she does eat, she she has eaten in the past only when it's dark out. And Pop-Tart right here is trying to figure out kind of what's going on as well. And the Mountain Dew is almost done. We're finishing up with this rat. Just a tail left, which is awesome. And... She's been phenomenal um, when she's been on rats. Super picky on the birds, but once she got on rats, she's been uh, perfect. So, excited to see her grow. Really hoping the weather uh, warms up, so the possibility of a new member can join us. I, I think I'm only gonna, I don't know, I'm probably only gonna, I'm really only wanting like one this year. So I'm gonna get more cages, and the one that I need will be perfect for the future projects. And I don't know what she is doing or why she is doing this.